Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you with an MLB main slate video. There is no NBA tomorrow, so we will be playing lots and lots of MLB. So if you're new, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and just let me know how you're doing, guys. Um, great, great weekend. MLB, UFC, um, one fight away from a takedown. One fight away, I entered a, the three dollar contest and won like fifty bucks. Came in eleventh out of like almost six thousand. But yeah, guys, if you didn't watch my my UFC video, I picked all the big underdogs to win, and they did. So yeah, guys, hit that subscribe button because I don't just do NBA; I do everything, guys. UFC, NBA, NHL, MLB, NFL. So yeah, guys, hit that subscribe button. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Let's pull up Draft Dashboard, guys. First of all, this is my sponsor. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys, where you get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, the lineup optimizer, the player trends, sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the MLB cheat sheet. Because if you can't win cheat, got the best studs, but it's mid-tier, best value. And home run hitters in good spots. So home runs is what gets you guys over that cash line. So make sure you check us out. Draft Dashboard, $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. All right, so let's get into it. I'll go to the position optimizer. So we have a eight-game slate. So just a perfect size. So let's start off at pitcher. Garrett Cole, absolutely. Always got to play Garrett Cole when he's in. You know, we got some pretty good pitchers on this slate, but He's definitely by far the best on the slate. 10.9K. Going up against Texas. Texas, yeah, they hit a lot of home runs, but they do strike out a lot. So there's that. Uh, lifetime, they're only batting 197 against them. 44, 17, 39, 38, 27. In his last five, in his last time against Texas, 34 fantasy points, guys. Garrett Cole, get him in there at 10, 9. Next up. Walker Bueller for 10K, I'd rather just get the Garrett Cole, guys. That's only a $900 difference. Or you can go to uh, DraftKings. You got to do two pitchers, FanDuel one. So if you're new to MLB DFS, stick with me here. All right? I, I got you. Um, Temenjulin, Telejulin, I can never say his name. Walker, Texas Ranger, Temenjulin Walker. He's 9.1K. Having himself a dandy of a season, 22, 35 in his last two. Um, going up against the Braves, though, you guys know how dangerous the Braves are, but they haven't been, you know, they came on late today, but other than that, their offense has been pretty quiet. 21-15 his last two against the Braves. 22 and 35 fantasy points in his last two outings. To, to Medjulin, that's what I call him, Walker, get him in there at 9.1K. And then Madison Bumgarner coming off a no-hitter. He's 8.5K. Going up against the Dodgers, a team he's very, very familiar with. He's faced 119 batters, guys, in his career. They're only batting 235 against him. Again, he was supposed to have a down year this year, right? That's what we all thought because he's getting up there in age. Not so. 35, 24, 22, 34, 21. He's been lights out, guys. He's been getting as many fantasy points as a 10K pitcher. So Madison Bumgarner, even against the Dodgers, guys, 8.5K. You can get him in there. And I also don't mind John Gray here because this game is not in course field. San Diego hasn't been scoring any runs. Um, Tatis is on the um, injury reserve list. John Gray, 7.5K. A lot of people won't do it because they'll see his numbers. He's actually a pretty good pitcher, guys. They're in San Diego, so it's not course field. Don't mind it. All you need here is double-digit fantasy points, 19, 26, 6, 22, 25. Not bad for a pitcher whose uh, home field is course field. So, John Gray, you can get him in there for a little bit of value. And then the rest, not so not so good. Not so good. John Lester is, is 6, 6. I don't know. I mean, I guess, but hasn't done well against the Cubs. They've, they've almost hit in 400 against them. So, let's go to first base. All right, so, you know, you got your Angels here. You got Shohan Otani, but he's going up against a lefty. He doesn't do very well against lefties. Jared Walsh also going up against a lefty. So, the Angels don't hit lefties too good. 
But we got Freddie the Freak Freeman, 5.6K. He's having a great year, guys. Uh, 24, 23 in his last two. I believe he got another one today. Um, so, yeah. What is he lifetime against Texas Walker? To mention the Walker, he's two for five. He's him and Acuna are the only ones in decent positions against the Menjolin Walker, so I don't mind it. And he's a righty. He crushes righties, guys. He's two for five lifetime against him with a single and a home run. So Freddie Freeman, 5.6K. He is $1,700 cheaper on Fandle. You can get him in there. Uh, let's see. Next up, Jake Cronenworth is okay. He's 4.2K, but he's going up against Gray. It's actually not bad two for five, but I don't know if that's at Coors Field or not. But he is going up against a righty. One single, one triple in his lifetime against him. And he's only 4.2K. Normally bats second in the batting order, so you can take a look there. It's okay to roster one hitter against your pitcher, guys. Think about it. He gets a home run. Your pitcher loses, what, three three points? But a home run, you get 14 on DraftKings. So I'll take that. Uh, but don't stack a team against your pitcher, obviously. Next up, Josh Bell, 3.2K on DraftKings. He's $100 more on FanDuel, so you're definitely getting a deal on DraftKings, guys. Lifetime against Alazole. Sound like a, a freaking malt liquor. He's two for four, but two home runs. So in four at-bats, two home runs. He is a righty. Josh Bell crushes righties, guys. My sneaky, sneaky play, and he's cheap on DraftKings at 3.2. Coming over to Washington, having a great season. Let's go to second base. All right, so off the top, we got Jorge Polanco. He's a little pricey, though. He's 5.1K, but the matchup's pretty good. Against Dallas Keuchel, he's 5 for 12, batting 417, but it's, it's just singles. But he is a lefty. Polanco crushes lefties, guys, so he's due for one. He's due for a monster game. So 5.1K, you can take some stabs there. Um, let's see. Jonathan Villar. I love playing this guy because he has home run and stolen base upside. Going up against Max Freed, guys, he's two for five lifetime with two doubles, so two extra base hits. Again, I like the stolen base potential, the home run potential out of him, so you can get him in there at 3.2K. He is $600 cheaper on Fandle. Next up, Louis Garcia. I like the White Sox tomorrow, guys. Um, going up versus A.J. Happ, who's a lefty. This man crushes lefties. He bats in the bottom part of the order, but he's done decent against them. He's four for 12. You know, good one-off. I do like a White Sox stack, but if you just need a couple one-offs under, you know, three point under 3K, sorry, 2.9K, he's not bad. Hopefully he gets you a double. He doesn't need to get much at this price tag, guys. All right, let's go to third base. All right, so Justin Turner against Bumgarner. I mean, I guess he has 71 at-bats against him lifetime. Only a 268 average, though. But he does have four home runs, 11 singles, four doubles. So he knows I'm pretty good. This is pretty much the only Dodger I can find that has anything on Bumgarner in their career. And it's not that good. But Justin Turner is always in play at 5.1. Gio Ursula is now priced up to 4.8. He was a lot cheaper than that. Now, on Fandle, he is. He's $1,900 cheaper on Fandle. DraftKings, they got him jacked up. This Yankees team is projected to get the highest run total of the slate, but we'll get into that after the, the player-by-player -player analysis. Um, he's going up against a righty, and so far this year, he's been crushing righties. Gio Ursula, get him in there. He's third base and shortstop eligible, so that's always good. All right, so let's go to shortstop. All right, again, part of the White Sox stack, love Tim Anderson tomorrow. He's 5.3K. He's $1,500 cheaper on FanDuel. But against Hap, who's a lefty now? Tim Anderson crushes lefties. 11 for 19 with two home runs. That's a 579 batting average, ladies and gentlemen. Eight singles, one triple, two home runs. Tim Anderson absolutely loved this play for a payup. Get him in there, guys. Um, Trey Turner's always in play, 5.8K. He's having a great season. Starting off kind of slow. The only thing is he's going up against a righty. He does do better against lefties. Uh, but he's priced up to almost 6K. But, you know, he's been on a little hot streak, but he's starting to cool down a little bit. But just throwing that one out there, I'd probably rather get to Tim Anderson here. Um, and then Detroit might be a sneaky stack. I found some Detroit players that actually i have done pretty good against Kikuchi, guys, for Seattle. One of them's Nico Goodrum. Normally about second. 
He's only 4K on DraftKings. He's $1,400 cheaper on FanDuel. Lifetime against Kikuchi, he's 500, three for six. One single, one double, one triple. So he's due for one home run. So I don't mind Nico Goodrum at 4K. Again, some of these Detroit players have pretty good um, lifetime stats against this pitcher. So let's go to outfield. Aaron Judge, man. Aaron freaking Judge, 5.6K. Part of the, If you're stacking the Yankees, you got to get him in there. He's on a tear lately. Tear. I think he's got four games in a row now. Four consecutive games of the home run, guys. This is what he does. He's very streaky. So if you want to still ride the hot hand here, um, he's 5.6K. He's going up against a righty. He has no history against the Lyles. He hits lefties a little bit better. Um, but Aaron Judge is always in the conversation, guys. Um, Chris Bryant from the Cubs, 5.5K. Against Lester, no at-bats. They used to be teammates, though, but he's a lefty killer. He crushes lefties, guys. Look at that OPS versus lefties this year, 1.188. Chris Bryant's in play. You can get him in there. Same with Nelson Cruz, 4.9K. Going up against Dallas Keuchel, lifetime he has 52 at bat, so a lot to look at here. And he's a lefty. OPS versus lefties, look at that, 1.210 this season, 18 for 52. That's a 346 batting average, 11 singles, one double, six home runs, six. So a nice little one-off from Minnesota, Nelson Cruz, get him in there at 4.9K. Ronald Acuna Matata, 6.3. That's really expensive for an MLB player, guys. If you're new to MLB DFS, that's really expensive. Um, he's $1,800 cheaper on FanDuel. Thing is, he's going up against a righty. He's going up against Walker. But him, Freddie Freeman, are the only two Atlanta guys I can find that have good matchups against him. So, I mean, no history, but he does crush righties, guys. So get him in there. He can get home runs, stolen bases, extra base hits. Um, this kid, man, I said it from his rookie year. He's going to be something, and he's living up to that. Mike Trout's always in play, guys. He's 6.1K. He's going up against a lefty, though, versus righties this season. His OBS is over 1.146. But Mike Trout's always in play, guys. You know what he's capable of. He is the GOAT right now as far as, like, current MLB. Not overall, but current. So let's not start that conversation. He's 6.1K, though. I'd probably rather get to these guys up here. Cruz, Bryant, Judge. Um, let's see here. Next up, Kyle Schwarber, 3.7K. Pretty good uh, matchup. He does crush righties. 7 point, sorry, point seven two seven OPS versus righties. Bats fourth. And Washington's been scoring a lot of runs lately. A lot. And Schwarber's having a great season. So in this matchup, I don't mind it at 3.7. Same with Joey Gallo. I know he's going up against Garrett Cole. It's a dart throw. But in 22 plate appearances, four home runs, that's pretty good. But he's all or nothing with them, man. One double, four home runs. Against Garrett Cole, he's only batting 227 lifetime. But Joey Gallo's always a home run threat. And he's $600 cheap on Fandle. You can take a shot there. Again, you can do one batter against your pitcher. That's fine. Jason Hayward, bat seventh in the lineup. He's 3.6K. He's $1,100 cheaper on FanDuel. But going up against his former teammate, Lester, look at this. He's batting 429 and 28 plate appearances. That's a lot. Um, six singles, five doubles, one home run. So just a good value play here, Jason Hayward. I don't mind playing batters, you know, seventh, eighth, even ninth position. If it's a good matchup, I'll roster the batter, guys. And that's how you get that really low ownership on these guys because people normally only roster like maybe, maybe up to the sixth roster spot in the batting order other than that they just stay away i don't mind doing it guys as a nice little one-off there um and that's it guys before we get into the home run predictions let's go over to um let's go look at the um the projections as far as like stacks because stacking is a thing in mlb dfs so let's go look at the totals let me bring it up here. All right. So Mets and, and Braves. Mets, Vegas has them scoring 3.6. Braves, 4. Washington, Chicago. 
Chicago is actually projected kind of high, 4.7 runs. Um, so, again, out of Chicago, it was Chris Bryant. Um, you know, a couple of one-offs is fine here. Schwarber for Washington's fine. Chicago White Sox Twins, White Sox 4.6 runs. That's not bad. Same with the Twins. This game's probably going to be very high scoring, guys. And then you got the Yankees projected at 5.1 runs, the highest on the slate. Texas only three against Garrett Cole. Um, Angels, Cleveland, Cleveland 4.2, Angels 4.9. So the Angels are actually projected at almost five. Um, and then the Tigers, this is going to be a low scoring one here. It looks like the Tigers and Mariners, but I don't mind a, a sneaky Tiger stack here, guys. Let's see. And then we got the Diamondbacks, Dodgers. Um, low scoring here, Dodgers 4.5 implied total. And then last but not least, the Rockies and the Padres. Rockies only three runs, Padres 4.1 runs. Um, so yeah, and the great thing about MLB DFS, guys, is you get the lineups pretty much two to three hours in advance. So it's not like NBA where you're sweating it out, you don't get a lineup until 10 minutes until lock. MLB, man. Uh, it's very rare you get late scratches, but it's a lot easier, guys. If you're not playing MLB DFS this season, you're missing out on tons and tons of money. Um, if you want to join the family, guys, you already know what it is. It's DFSclub.com where we play every single sport. If you missed my interview, I interviewed Bronco on here who won over $100,000 playing three lineups, guys, in a 150 lineup tournament and won a total of over 100 k that day. Check out that video, guys. It's only like 10 minutes. It gives you a little insight on how we did it. You get NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, guys, EuroLeague basketball, XFL if it comes back. Quick join now. Schroeder wants to do Schroeder's picks. Come on, Schroeder. You want to do Schroeder's picks? Everyone wants to see Schroeder's picks. Come on. Quick join now. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then pick your plans, guys. Again, we're the cheapest in the industry. Our gold plan, which is our year plan for every single sport, all access. All of these plans are all access. This plan is cheaper than what everybody else charges for one month, for one, maybe two sports if you're lucky. Us, you get every single sport. It's DFSclub.com, guys. Prize picks. We cover that. We do the members only podcast. I'm going to do a members only podcast one hour before lock tomorrow for MLB. So DFS club, be there. Don't miss out on that, guys. That's what you're paying for. 24-7 um, tips and advice. Space and I are always in there. Space is doing WNBA. We're both doing NBA. It's crazy. USC is my specialty. Man, that was a good weekend. What a great weekend, guys. NBA was a little shaky. I cashed on Saturday. Missed today, but. You know, you can't win every day. Those that say they do are full of you-know-what. But, yeah, guys, come join your pals, your buddies, DFSclub.com. All right, so let's go into some home run calls. Come on, Schroeder. It's time for you, man. It's time for Schroeder's picks. So Schroeder, if you're new, is my cat. And we have a segment that we call Schroeder's picks. And Schroeder gives us his three home run calls. So his first home run call, second home run call, or just single home runs. His third home run call is who's going to get us two home runs. So if you're all ready, Schroeder, are you ready? Come on up. It's time for Schroeder's picks. And here he comes. He's like a dog, guys. I'm telling you. Here he is. All right, guys. So he's been studying the slate. All right, Schroeder. So let me bring it up. So who's going to get us that first home run? Who do you got? Look at the player pool here. Really? How do I know? Schroeder's a little biased, so that's his problem. You sure about that one? Your reputation's on the line here. Yeah, all right. Schroeder's really biased. His favorite player in the whole wide world, and you can take a guess, it's not other than Mike Trout, as, as you can tell by why he likes that name. But, yeah, he says Mike Trout's going to get one. All right, Schroeder, who's your second home run pick? Who's going to get us there? Who do you got for your second home run call? Do you want to take a look? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. I can dig that. So, Schroeder, second home run call. You sure? All right. He sure. It's none other than Freddie Freeman. He says Freddie Freeman's going to get a home run. 
All right, Schroeder, this is where we really need you. So looking through the player pool, who's going to get us that two home run game? Two. Who's going to get us that double home run game to get us to a takedown? Who do you got? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, wonderful. Wonderful, Schroeder. All right, guys. So Schroeder's slate breaking home run pick of the slate is none other than Nelson Cruz. Thank you so much, Schroeder. We really appreciate all the hard work you put into these. And Schroeder says, we'll see you guys at the top. So that's going to do it for Schroeder's picks. And that's going to do it for the video, guys. Again, don't forget, dfsclub.com. Come join the family, guys. We'd love to have you. That's where we have the family, guys. And then don't forget, Draft Dashboard is only $1 for 30 days. All right, Schroeder and I are going to say a prayer for everybody, and then we're going to get up out of here. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless the pets, right? The pets? Schroeder says, let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. And like Schroeder and I say, we'll see you guys at the top. Take care.